What's going on guys, this is me Ron and see you after a long time. It's been a long time since I did not upload any video tutorial. So today what we are going to do is we are going to create a login form in csub.net using link to SQL that is language integrated query to structured query language. If you do not familiar with link and if you do not know why you should learn link, tell me on the comment section I will create one video on that. There are so many advantages of using link instead of using AJ.net in your application. The main advantage is your application performance will increase. We will discuss all this theory part on later video, but today we are going to create a login form. So let's do it. First of all, open Visual Studio, go to File, click on New, and then click on Project. Visual C Sub, Windows, Windows Form Application, and give the name like Link login and then click ok simple process expand your form from the toolbox drag and drop one button to text box as you all know what is text box You can also drag and drop some labels. And change the text. Here goes username. Here goes password. And similar, change the text of this button as well. and change the name of this text field txt user here goes txt hash and button t btn login now again change the color of this form so back color there you go now what you need to do is you need to create own database on SQL server so open up SQL server right click over database new database and give the database name and then click OK now expand database find your recently created database that is link or if you do not find just refresh it and expand this database right click over table and here goes column name username data type is bad care password bad care Control S, login, and then click OK. Now extend that table, right click, and then edit the quantity row. Here it goes from value admin, admin. Just close it. Your value will be automatically saved. Now go back to Visual Studio, go back to Server Explorer. Right click over data connection, data connection, and change the data sets to SQL server. And here goes your server name that is. And then select your database. And then click OK. Now here comes the main part. So, what you need to do is right click over your project and click on add click on new item and find link to SQL classes and then add these classes this is called the OR designer that is object relational designer these convert our relational database into object oriented approach so our database table will be class column will be property store procedure will be method and records or row will be the instance you can see all these things after adding your database table into the left side of OR designer and store procedure in the right side of OR designer. 
after adding it you will see the visual representation to see the code you can go to the dot cs file so let's do it link to sql classes and you can give any name but the preferred name is your database name that is link login dot dbml click it now this is called or designer now what you need to do is expand your data connection and drag and drop your table over left side of or designer and this is the right side you need to drag and drop store procedure over right side now here you can see this is the visual representation now in order to see the code what you can do is go to your solution explorer and click this designer.cs file this is the auto generated code here you can see and this is the class the actual class is data context class and our name is prefix with the data context class and in the area.net what we use is connection class to connect our application with the database now here this class looks like a connection class and scroll down you can see our database table becomes the class here and our column becomes the property property over here now go back to design double click that login button and what you need to do is you need to create the instance of a data context class that is link data context lc this is our variable name class variable name now we need to create the instance so here lc is equal to new class name and we are going to write the link so i am going to show that link in some results of here result is equal to now how to write link uh, let me show you the syntax so how to write link is from elise in table and here goes clauses clauses and select elise or new and then the column list this is how we write the link by the but uh, in ordinary sql how we write select all or column list column list from table uh, is elis and then here goes the clauses the link query is very much similar to the sql query but the keyword are little bit jumbled now go back to visual studio and what we need to write over here is from and give the elis name you can give any name i'm going to use l and then in lc dot login what this login is go back to that designer code and scroll down and you will find one property over here this property written the table there you go get table login where l dot username is equal to txt user dot text and l dot password is equal to txt pass dot text and then what you need to do is select elis that is l now if result dot count is greater than 0 what we need to do is we need to display the message to the user message box dot show login success message box button dot ok 
and message box icon dot information and now in else part simply copy this message box and then paste it and change the text there goes login field so save it here you can see this single line of code uh, replace all the code that we write in edu.net that is SQL data adapter and then the SQL command and then the data table and then filling the SQL adapter etc etc see how easy to write link and it shows all of your column names here username it shows username that is our database column name and password our database column name but while you are writing the SQL query in AJ.NET, you need to remember all your column name by yourself. But in case of link, all these column names are shown to you. So it's very easy to work with link and when you write link in your application, the performance of your application will increase. So let's run this program. Now enter your username admin and password is admin and then click login message to display login success and if you write other than the store username and password you will see the login field message so there you go now you may confuse what is this result dot count is greater than zero means if the user enter username and password is matched the database store username and password this message will display otherwise this message will display so give thumbs up if you like this video and share this video with your friends so that they can use this link in their project and if you don't know what the hell is going on in this project i don't know anything about it uh, comment on the comment section i will create one complete video describing what is link how you can use what are the courses and all these things if you are new to this channel please subscribe this channel will create a tech and programming video. Thank you once again for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.